Hello everybody. This is our video lesson for today, Thursday, which is May the 15th. Oh my goodness. We're already through this week. We only have one week left. Make sure you guys watch Miss Sun's phonics video she's making for you guys. But today in our lesson, we're going to start with reading. All right, so let's begin with our read aloud so we can do our reading lesson. Let's begin. Toot and Puddle by Holly Hobby. Toot and Puddle lived together in Woodcock Pocket. It was such a perfect place to be that Puddle never wanted to go anywhere else. Toot, on the other hand, loved to take trips. He had been to Cape Cod, the Grand Canyon, and the Redwood Forest. One day in January, Toot decided to set off on his biggest trip ever. He decided to see the world. Do you want to come along, he asked Puddle. We could start with someplace warm and wild. Puddle preferred to stay home. I love snow, he thought. Dear Puddle, I've made some new friends in Africa. Is winter getting boring? Toot. Meanwhile, presenting Puddle at Pocket Pond. Dear Puddle, Egypt is awesome. The pyramids are the greatest. Wish you could meet me at the Oasis. Your friend, Toot. March, mint maple syrup. Puddle wished Toot were there to taste the pancakes. Dear Puddle, can you believe I'm in the Solomon Islands? There in the Pacific Ocean. I spend all day underwater. I love being in a school of fish. Has spring come yet? Your pal, Toot. Yes, spring had arrived. Puddle was having mud season. Yay! Dear Puds, am I in India or is this a dream? It's your birthday, May 3rd. Hope your party is the best. Friends forever, toot. Back at Woodcock Pocket, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow that nobody can deny. Dear Puddle, help! Mountain climbing is scarier than jumping out of a plane. Remember when I talked you into going parachuting? Your friend in the Alps, Toot. Puddle remembered. Dear Puddle, you would love Matador Camp. The bull's name is Dandio. Bravo from Spain. Toot. In July, presenting Puddle at Pocket Pond. Every time he jumped in, he cheered, Ole! Dear Puddle, August is cold in Antarctica, but I've made more friends here than anywhere yet. Are you going to the beach this year? I miss you. Do you miss me? Friends forever, toot. Yes, Puddle missed his friend. Dear Pudsy, bonjour from Paris. Art is everywhere. Love is in the air. Au revoir, toot. I love art, thought Puddle. Dearest Puzio, Italy is heaven. It's one big treat. Your friend Tuzio. Meanwhile, it was Halloween in Woodcock Pocket. Puddle decided to be horrifying. One morning in November, Toot woke up and thought, it's time to go home. Yay! Toot's coming! December called for celebration. 
Here's to all of your adventures around the world, said Puddle. Here's to all of your adventures right at home, said Toot. And here's to being together again, Toot and Puddle said at the same time. Toot was happy to be back in his own bed, and Puddle was happy too. I wonder if it will snow all night, Puddle said. I hope so, said Toot. Then we'll go sliding, said Puddle, and skiing, said Toot. Good night, Toot. Good night, Puddle. All right, the end. All right, so in our book, we had two different characters, right? Toot, he was the one that went traveling, and Puddle, he was the one that stayed home. So they both were doing very different things at the same time. Toot was traveling, he was doing a bunch of different things, going to a lot of different places, and Puddle was doing a lot of different things, but he was staying home, he wasn't traveling. All right, so you have two circles here, two big circles, and in the middle, they make a little, Base, kind of like an oval where they meet. So on this side of the circle, you have toot. And this is where we are gonna put things about toot. So I already have some things in here about toot. And you can look at all of your options down here. The ones that are crossed out are ones we've already used. So let's see, let's look at what toot did in our story. He swam with hippos in Africa. Now I wouldn't put that on Puddle's side because Puddle didn't swim with hippos in Africa, only Toot did, so that only goes on his side. He swam with fish, he always wanted to take trips, and he went mountain climbing. So those are four things that only apply to Toot. Puddle did not do any of those things, so none of those would go on Puddle's side. All right, now let's look at Puddle Circle. He had a birthday party. Toot didn't have a birthday party, only Puddle. He jumped into the pond. Toot didn't jump into the pond, only Puddle did. So it would only go on Puddle's side. Collected syrup for pancakes and never wanted to go anywhere. He just wanted to stay home, remember? But he did miss his friend, right? Now let's look at where these circles meet, where they overlap each other, they cross over. There's one thing right here and it says went parachuting because both Toot and Puddle went parachuting. They both did this. So instead of putting this on this side and on Puddle's side, we're gonna put it in the middle where their circles overlap. This is area right here. This is where we're going to put the things that they both did. So on Toot's side, you're going to put things that only Toot did. On Puddle's side, you're going to put things that only Puddle did. And in the middle, you're going to put things that they both did. So you need to give me three more things Toot did, three more things Puddle did, and one more thing that they both did and you're gonna use this chart down here to help you. If you need to go back and watch our story again, go back and rewind it. Or I'll put a link and you can watch it on your own. I'll put a link in our assignment so you can watch it separately. All right, so for math this week or today, we're gonna do some adding again, but this time it's a little different. So right here, it says build 45 with the cubes, and I've already built 45. We have four groups of 10. We know each of these is a group of 10. So I have one, two, three, four, or 10, 20, 30, 40. And then it says I should have five ones. So 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So here's 45 that I've built with cubes. Now it says build 27 with cubes. 
So that means I need two groups of 10, one, two, or 10, 20, and I have seven ones. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So over here I have 45, here I have 27. All right, now it says write an equation or write an addition problem to find the total number of cubes. All right, so let's try that. All right, so on this side, I have 45 because that was my first number. And on this side, I have 27 because that was my second number. All right, so now I need to add them together and I am going to use my cubes and I'm gonna see if I can make a 10 out of my ones. All right, so I have five ones on this side and I have seven ones on this side. Hmm, how many different ways can we make 10? If I have seven cubes, how many more do I need to get to 10? I think I need three more. So I'm gonna take three cubes from this side and I'm gonna add them over here. So now I have eight. Remember, I started with seven cubes, so I have eight, nine, ten. Now I have ten cubes on this side, and I only have two of the ones on this side. So if I have ten of these one cubes, I could trade them all out for one of these stacks of ten because it's the same amount, right? 10 separate cubes is the same as 10 cubes just stacked together. So I'm gonna trade all of these out for one of these stacks of 10. All right, so now I've got those one cubes, they're off to the side over here. I need to insert one stack of 10 to replace those 10 separate cubes. All right, now let's count all of these and see what we get. So I'm gonna start with my tens, and then I'm gonna count my ones last. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72. So if I put 45 and 27 together, my answer should be 72. Because we just, changed our numbers around a little bit. We took a little bit from the five and added it to the seven, but we're still using the same numbers. We're still using the same amount of cubes. Our amount of cubes didn't change, just the way that we placed them did. Instead of those 10 cubes being separate like these are, we made them into a stack of 10. So we still have the same amount of cubes. We just are looking at them differently now. All right, so I'm gonna write 72 for my answer. So here we go, 45 plus 27. That's 72. All right, let's try another one. All right, number one says build 31 with cubes. Build 31 with cubes. All right, so I'm gonna build my 31 real quick. That means I need three groups of 10 and one single cube. All right, so I went ahead and built both of them. So I built 31, I have three groups of 10, 10, 20, 30, and 31, just one single cube. Then I built 24, so I needed two groups of 10. Here's one, two, and four ones. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing that we did earlier. We're just gonna add them together. But this time, I don't think we have enough of these ones to make 10, do you? We just have one over here, we have four over here, four and one more, that's just five. I can't make 10 out of these, so I'm just gonna add them normally. All right, 31 plus 24. It's 
start at the last column, go top to bottom. One plus four is five. And three plus two, that's also five. All right, now let's count our cubes to make sure it matches up. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. We get the same answer. So 31 plus 24 is 55. Let's try some more. All right. So it is gonna give us some random numbers and we're gonna add them together. So first it gives us 31, and it gives us 45. Hmm, I think I might wanna pick another one because I wanna combine my cubes like we did last time. So let's see, let's do eight and 45. So first I need to make eight. And that's less than 10, so I can't just use one of these 10 stacks. So I'm going to have to do eight cubes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, now I need to make 45. So that means I have 10 groups of four or four groups of 10, whoops, four groups of 10, so that means I need four of these 10 stacks and five ones. I'm gonna build 45. All right, so eight plus 45, here we go. Here's my 45, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and then I have eight over here. And I want to make 10 by combining these single cubes. Hmm, if I have eight, how many more do I need to get to 10? I have eight cubes, how many more cubes do I need to get 10 cubes? I think I need two more cubes to get to 10. Let's see. All right, so now I've added my two cubes to this side. So that should be 10. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I could trade out these 10 single cubes for one of these 10 stacks. And I'm gonna make it blue since this side was already blue. So I'm gonna trade them out for one of these 10 stacks. All right, so I've put my single cubes over here out of the way. We don't need those anymore. I've traded them for one 10 stack. So now let's count my cubes and see what our answer is when we add 8 and 45. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53. So 53 should be our answer when we add 8 and 45. I'm going to write it down. 8 plus 45 equals 53. All right, so we didn't take away, we took these single cubes and put them over here, but we didn't change the amount of cubes that we're adding. We just changed the way they looked. We always had those 10 single cubes. So we just had to rearrange them and make them into a stack of 10. So we're still adding 8 and 45. It just looks different now. Let's try one more. And this time, I think I might draw it. So if you're doing this at home, Maybe you'll know how you can draw it. All right, so it gave me 48 plus 14, and I am going to draw these 10 stacks this time, because if you're at home and you're doing this on paper, you're going to be drawing them, right? So I've got my draw. I'm going to draw four groups of 10.
All right, so I drew my four groups of 10. And they don't look exactly like this, but I know what they're supposed to be so I can keep track. So here's my four groups of 10, and then I drew eight ones. This is my 48, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Now I need to draw my 14. So I need one group of 10 and four ones. All right, so I'm gonna draw that. So I drew my 14. Here's my 110, my 10 stack. And here are my four ones. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, so I have 48, 14. So now I need to figure out how to make 10 with the ones. I have eight ones over here and four ones over here. Hmm. If I have eight ones, if I have eight, how many more do I need to get to 10? I think this is kind of like the one we just did. I have eight, how many more cubes or ones do I need to get to 10? I think I need two more cubes or two more ones, just like in our last problem. So I am gonna cross out two of those and I am gonna move them over here. So they're not on the side anymore. They've been crossed out. They're not over here. We moved them over here. All right, so now I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten cubes. And I want to trade those 10 cubes in for one of these 10 stacks. So I'm going to cross out all of these cubes. Cross them out because we don't need those single ones anymore. All we need to do is trade them in for one of these 10 stacks. So I'm going to draw another 10 stack. And that is the same amount as our 10 cubes, remember? All right, so now let's count them and add them together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62. So 48 plus 14 equals 62. All right, so when you guys are doing these problems on your own, remember to draw the ones and trade them in for a 10 stack when you get 10 ones. All right. That is all we have in our video lesson for today. All right, I will see you guys next week for our very last week of e-learning. Can you believe it? All right, bye guys.